Ladies and gentlemen, what's going on? Once again, I'm your boy Nef from Nef's Tack Bits, and today I'm going to be doing a teardown on a Frog TV uh, Android box. It takes KitKat uh, 4.4, so by now this thing's pretty much useless. This was given to me by my local uh, secondhand store because it didn't have everything that it should have in it, and it was basically useless to them. They know I got a YouTube channel to support the family, so uh, they like to help me out when they can. Here we go, Frog TV information. Information in every conceivable language you could think of. But what I'm wondering is, how come it doesn't say Frog TV on any other part of this? It's just on here. Anyways, I gotta say, this is definitely the most colorful Android TV box I've ever come across. It's very nice, really interesting. Unfortunately, I couldn't find a power adapter. Five volts, two amps. I got these power adapters that, um, I got these power adapters that'll do 6 volts and 4.5 volts, but I can't find any that size that'll push out what this thing needs. Interestingly enough, it comes with an adapter, and the color scheme matches the unit, so I'm thinking this thing got shipped with that, probably so they could just make it for any place and ship them internationally. I got some unlocks, so this will be good to use. This actually looks like a very useful unit that I could uh, get some use out of or at least help some friends out who are actually going other places because I am a techno hillbilly and I do not get out internationally as much as I should interestingly enough it has a mouse that has the same huh, it has an on and off switch but there's no actual switch there I have seen this mouse so many times I, I think I bought these for like three bucks shipped all white units so it's not exactly uh, the best type it's also missing its remote control once again remember I couldn't get this thing working even if I could most uh, YouTube and whatnot won't actually work with Android 4.4 KitKat I have to bring it up a notch so on the back you see we have the power HDMI um, network USB and RGB interestingly enough it doesn't take micro SD that kind of blows me away now this is the kind of thing that way back in the day when it was created uh, I think this is five years ago I think this is a 2015 yeah, you'll see the screws right under the feet it was advertised as a be-all end-all you don't need anything else this is all you'll ever need but the annoying part about Android boxes, of course, is that they need to be updated. Not only do they need to be updated, but the apps need to be updated. And the places giving out the information also need to be updates. The libraries, I believe it's called. Now that is definitely one big problem with the Android box. Yeah, you need a smaller screwdriver. Anyways, one of the problems with Android boxes, they can be a real pain in the butt. Once you get them set up, eventually you're going to have to get them set up again. If you don't know how, there's a real learning curve to it. Sometimes distribution groups change. Way back in the day, Cody used to be the big thing. And then it changed, Cody got caught, and I never figured out why people would actually stream things through Cody. It makes no sense. What was the monetary value for them? How would, how would they get anything out of it? I mean, even when you're downloading in the piratebay.org, you got to seed, and if you don't seed enough, they'll kick you out. Actually, I don't know if they actually will. I know private groups will. But, um, yeah, you gotta, you got to seed. you got to give back. But who is giving back to these distribution groups? If anyone knows, please tell me. I would really like to know. Before we go any further, we should uh, say that there is an infrared pickup in the front. So, infrared is how you would communicate with this thing. Okay, I was not expecting to see something so small. I have opened these boards before, or I've opened these things before, and never seen a board that small before. Man, that's interesting. I wonder what we got in here. I wonder what we got. We only have a single Wi-Fi. Interesting. Oh, beautiful. I love how they actually terminated the ends here for the infrared. Uh-oh. Huh. Um, you see nothing. Damn. What the heck? Designed by Easy Tech. I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit of research on this. I'll be right back. Okay, so some interesting things to be found when we get under the hood. As you can see here, it was made in uh, 2017. 512 RAM plus 8 gigabytes. I thought it was a little bit older than that, honestly. What do we have over here? 
for all those who like to see the entire board. Now that was there. I busted it off trying to get information on the CPU. Now let's get into the interesting stuff, the meat and potatoes. First off, I believe this is a SanDisk chip that has RM written all over it. I don't know what RM means, but if somebody could let me know, and I'm certain that behind that it said SanDisk. When I look up this code, it says SanDisk. So they definitely use a SanDisk chip. I don't know if it was rejected or what. Designed by Daddy East. We got an all winner H2 chip on there. That's an ARM chip. And I can't find out what this is, but I, I, I think it might be analog out. I could be wrong. Anyways, that's about it for me, ladies and gentlemen. Got myself an HDMI cable out of it. And I also got myself a, what kind of cable is this? A high speed with ethernet. Interesting. Interesting. And I also got myself a, uh, a mouse and a fancy box. And a fancy box. That's what she said. And a power adapter. So that's cool. I'm definitely going to get some use out of that power adapter. And that mouse, I gotta figure out where the frick I put the base of it now. And there it is, the base, folks. That's meat and potatoes of what we got right here. So, that's an interesting, useful piece of equipment. Not much else can be said about that. It's interesting stuff. Interesting stuff. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, that's it for me, Nev from Nev's Tech Bits. Like and subscribe if you like this stuff. Always appreciated. And as always, folks, take care of each other. Have a good one.